so now so the procedure is like a how to log the all the users so some client copies we may some client copies especially you are doing from the production we may have to log the user but production if you want to log the users means so that is a dangerous activity which means users will not perform any user will not perform any activity so that's why client locking so generally we want to discuss we can discuss but the, the thing is production no one lock any users up till unless if any maintenance activity server is going to down that type if really there is a need then we can lock the all the users here we can lock all users in single shot so some companies some customers they will use the custom programs to lock it some customers they will use the so so some customers they will use the, their own program their own scripts they will use it but the standard procedure for there is a ewz5 is the transaction code for admin lock users admin lock so it will lock the lock and unlock the all the users here just you can go to the ewz5 enter there is a transaction code right so in this transaction code see here this is not exist in the so in this system here right so let's go to the uh, any one of the system here so let's take here in this system ecc system right let's go to ecc What is this mouse? It got changed like this. I don't know. So here we can use the EWZ file. Okay, enter. So what will happen? It will go to the one transaction code here. So here you can see there the lot of users are there. So here you can see lot of users are there here, right? So what we can do if you want to unlock, you want to unlock this users. So this all users are you admin users. So so it's a so it's a locked users here. So we can just so, so we can just what we can do. we can choose the users if we want to choose the user any one of the user or all the users then there is a option select all right select all select all so click on the save button then lock the users right lock the users here so all users including users are locked all the users are locked here so even basis user also locked here right basis user also locked here so now when you are trying to log in when you are trying to log in so then you cannot log in now <clears throat> why because user is locked here so let's go to here then execute it then when you are trying to log in let's see whether it will lock it so it's logging in so except basis user means we have not selected i guess it's locked all the users got locked here right basis user where is the basis user this is the user here right i in which system we logged in sap migration user system so it's logged in we logged in this is the which system sap migration okay it's logged in it's locked right all the users are locked here so if you want to unlock then just to select the unlock user right all the users will be unlocked so we need to choose the users so select it so save it go back and so go back then unlock then unlocking will be unlock it will unlock the all the users here admin flag admin flag so like that we can unlock and lock the users here unlock and lock the users here so let's me try to lock login with the my user here but this is the that actually this won't work sometimes actually this one
password locked the user is locked first of all so like that we cannot log in all those things we cannot log in so that's what we have to do it in our case here okay locking and unlocking the transactions so ew jet file is the one so some customers they will use the so different different methods they will use it different different methods means some customers they will run the report custom reports so they will use it so in this case user will be so locked so that all users will be locked same as is user will be locked so that's what we will 